Hello everyone, we're going to take a look today at the CRKT Tuna and this is the limited edition that came out when the knife was first released. So we're going to take a look at the Tuna and I'll give you my opinion on CRKT and their limited editions because in some ways they take one step in the right direction and then a few steps in the wrong direction. Uh, so I'll give my opinion and I want your guys' thoughts too. So what do you think about CRKT making these limited run knives? So either way, this is the CRKT Tuna. S35VN blade, titanium frame lock design, has an insert here in the box, you know, giving you the description and the fact that it's a limited run. So kind of a nice touch there. Um, but of course the fitted box, as you would expect, we have right here, the CRKT Tuna. And this one I've been looking at picking up for quite a while and I was, was just waiting for one to, to come at the right price. Because uh, of course when these were initially released, they only made, made 250 of them. So they did sell out pretty quickly. and But we have this nice black wash blade. And as you can see on the blade there, this is number 43 out of 250. We have titanium scales with a black G10 insert. Titanium frame lock right here. And it has a lock bar insert, over travel stop built into there. Deep carry pocket clip, which is reversible for left or right tip up carry. So that's always nice to see, reversible. Um, and of course the decorative aluminum inserts with that nice green coloration, just to make it pop a little bit. Um, but again, this is a great example of what CRKT should be making right now. Um, I don't think this necessarily should have been a limited run um, because of course CRKT has a long history of making limited run knives. And uh, generally whenever they release a new pattern, uh, they'll have a limited run of it. At least over the past couple of years, I've noticed this. But they also have limited run knives that are of a uh, higher end, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of them are produced overseas in uh, Italy, so lion steel. And what that does is that it makes the price of these knives uh, very um, unobtainable for most people. And so great for collectors, but for someone who just wants a quality knife to purchase and use, they're kind of out of reach. And so this particular one is a great example of what they should be doing, because of course what we have here are all the high end materials I would expect of a limited run with the S35VN blade, titanium frame lock. Those two things are key right there. We want a high-end steel, we want titanium. CRKT needs to stop making these limited runs with steel frame locks, steel liners. So essentially what we have right here is the Tuna, a very lightweight, very nice knife to look at. Um, but again, other limited runs they've made in the past, the CRKT Motley, that one is a Lion Steel production and the price you can you can see it it's Lion Steel price. Uh, the CRKT Shock again another Lion Steel collaboration there and the price is very hot. Um, other than that we do have the Herein a uh, more recent limited production knife kind of an interesting looking knife but again it, Italian production higher price. Uh, even when they produced the Home Front um, in Italy the price went up you know as well. Recently though, we see the Tuna. This particular limited run was not made in Italy. This one was made in China. So for good or for bad, we're getting the higher end materials for a much more affordable price. Because when this one came out, it, it retailed direct from CRKT at about 185. So that's a big difference from 185 to the three, four, five hundred dollar mark you're gonna see when you buy a Lion Steel produced knife. And so I would love to see CRKT come out with more of these knives in limited runs or non-limited runs with these materials um, coming out of China or Taiwan and get that price point down. Because this is what really what the where the market is going, I think. Quite a bit of people would really love to pick up um, the higher end materials on these regular CRKT patterns. So if we can imagine a lot of these older runs I have on the table right here. I mean, right here we have the eraser. Uh, beautiful design knife liang ma design really well done well executed i think this was a taiwan made knife but could we imagine this with titanium with s35 vn um, with different colored scales i mean that would be amazing to see a knife design like this redone in modern materials but also affordable i don't need one from italy i just want something you know that has nicer materials on it um, even this one right here another canonian design right here so we can see the arrows back when they made them in titanium with this really fancy frame lock. 
um, bring these back. You know, these ones were super popular. They were popular enough that they re-released them in lower end materials. But man, look at that titanium frame. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see a re-release of this one. Um, this one right here is our, even a limited edition itself. This is the CRKT Prowess, uh, but this was a limited run done for Cornwell Tools. So while we have this beautiful aluminum handle, um, slightly higher end blade steel, I believe this is a Sandvik steel, um, it's still not quite titanium. It's not quite a CPM steel, a super steel, uh, but this is an example of the direction they should be heading. Make these really nicely done, well-made, limited runs, but do them for everybody. You know, make them more common. Um, doesn't have to be as limited as 250 like this one was. And of course, the most recently released Ritual, I would love to see variations of this knife just because just it's so awesome. It's a really well done knife, really nicely made, um, but I would like to see it in different materials. So when CRKT does this, let's avoid Italy. Let's avoid Lion Steel. Bring some of this production to China, to Taiwan. Not that I'm fully supporting, you know, Red China or whatever you want to say out there. I know what you're thinking right now. <laughs> uh, but I do want to see these, these really nice materials done at a lower price point. Because it would be great to be able to have this as a regular run knife. You know, the S35 version right next to the regular, you know, 8CR or AUS8, whatever steel uh, variations of the knife. And so they are heading in that direction, I think, I hope. Um, but I would love to see more of that more of that. So um, recently the CRKT Bonafide was released and again they came out with a limited you know edition of it. Uh, very cool colorations and I want to see more of those but let's make them less limited. Um, you can produce more of them. You don't necessarily have to produce thousands and thousands and thousands um, but let's make enough that everyone who wants one can get their hands on a slightly higher end version of their favorite knife they may already own. Because by the time somebody discovers hey I really like the CRKT tuna pattern and I want a higher end version of it, they're already sold out. They're gone. You know, they're, they're in collector's hands. And with so few out in the wild, the chances of a real user ever getting um, used by someone who actually enjoys the blade is going to be pretty small. So while I'm glad I own this one, um, I definitely would love to see more variations of these knives. And again, um, don't give me steel frame locks. Don't give me steel liners. Um, I'm looking at that blade Blade HQ exclusive tuna has the beautiful green micarta covers, but then you flip it over and we have a nice heavy steel frame lock there. No, 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 no. At that price they were asking for it, it needed to be titanium. Titanium, high-end steel, do whatever you want after that, but you got to have at least those two factors, titanium and high-end steel. Um, don't give me steel frame locks anymore, CRKT, especially if I'm going to be paying over $150 for a knife. No way, uh-uh, not going to happen. And I think Many of the people who saw that knife thought the same exact thing, which is why they did not sell out instantly. Um, but that's my thoughts on CRKT and their higher end offerings. They Again, they, they take one step in the right direction like this one with the tuna, but then they go back to Lion Steel and take two steps backward, you know, because those prices are just, you know, unsustainable. And I would love to see more people get their hands on them um, in the end. So tell me what your thoughts are with CRKT. High-end knives, I know we don't think of that because CRKT is just a, such a production company. We think of them when we go to Walmart and the sporting goods stores. Uh, but I think they have a really great potential here because their designs are awesome. They have the best knife designer in the industry, arguably, <laughs> Ken Onion. And uh, a lot of his designs have been made in limited runs, but I would love to see those more widely available. So tell me your thoughts. What do you think about CRKT as a company? And do you think, should they make more limited stuff like this that's just fun? Um, but... Hope you enjoyed watching this and have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.